Jackie Dawkins was born in 1938 to Francis and Henry Dawkins and grew up in a middle class suburb of Detroit. At age 11, Pete was successfully treated for polio, which at that time was responsible for crippling thousands of once active, healthy children. From this inauspicious start, he earned a scholarship to Cranbrook High School where he excelled in football, baseball, and academics well enough to be accepted at Yale University. But Pete was destined for a different future. At West Point, Pete distinguished himself as team captain, brigade commander, president of his class, and a starman at the academy, a feat only one cadet has yet to accomplish. However, it was his work on the football field that got first noticed, in kind of a big way. Peter, I have a great privilege today to present to you on behalf of the 3,700 members of the greatest athletic club in the country, the Downtown AC, the much coveted Heisman Trophy Award. I'd like to thank you personally and the members of the Downtown Athletic Club, and especially all the sports writers throughout the nation who uh, voted on this award. I'm certainly most honored at the part of the award, and I'd just like to express my thanks to my teammates and the coaches of the ball club, without whose efforts, of course, a word like this couldn't at all be possible. And now there's another man in the room I'm sure is just as proud as you are, and I'd like to have your father come over and extend his congratulations to you. Congratulations, Pete, on this very special occasion. Today I'm a very proud father. Thank you very much. <laughs> Subsequently, Pete was drafted by the Baltimore Colts of the National Football League. But he had another option to fall back on. <laughs> Yank at Oxford decided to try rugby, earned two degrees, and even found time to tip a few with the lads. He stunned Oxford's rival and a highly regarded Cambridge team with a new rugby weapon throwing what is now known as the torpedo or overhand pass. It's to Bass, beautifully taken to Silk, to Adcock, to Ware. Most significantly, though, he married Mrs. Wright, Miss Judy Wright, and began his military career in earnest. Parachute, Ranger training, and Vietnamese language school prepared him for two tours in Vietnam. Pete served as a senior advisor to the Vietnamese 1st Airborne Battalion, and then later, he worked in the pacification program. Pete earned two degrees from Princeton University, including his Ph.D. He was also the principal author of An Army People Want, which was the blueprint for the all-volunteer force. He is a graduate of the United States Army War College as well. He was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General and served as Acting Director of the Strategy Plans and Policies Directorate. General Dawkins retired from the U.S. Army in 1983, where he still had a few more worlds to conquer. In 1984, the former Army General, captain of the West Point football team, and now captain of industry, was working in New York City for Lehman Brothers. The Vietnam Veterans Committee asked him to help raise funds for a memorial and to provide vocational and psychological counseling for veterans. He rallied business executives along with sports and entertainment celebrities to raise over $3.5 million. Among the achievements was a landmark ticker tape parade for the Vietnam veteran and the beginning to the healing of the wounds of that war. Our Vietnam veterans needed a hero, and our captain once again led his team to victory. Pete Dawkins has enjoyed a long career in business that is as distinguished as his athletic, academic, and military careers. He became deeply committed to what he called the business of rebuilding a rusting America while working at Lehman Brothers. He went on to run for the United States Senate, worked for Bain & Company, served as vice chairman of Citigroup Private Bank, and is a senior advisor at Vertu Financial. 
Pete Dawkins walked onto the parade field of the United States Military Academy and ran his way to immortality on its football field. For most, a Heisman Trophy Award would be the crowning achievement of a man's life. But for Pete Dawkins, it was just the beginning. His work on the Volunteer Army Task Force led to our highly qualified all-volunteer soldiers. His innovation in the game of rugby, the Torpedo Pass, could just as easily be called the Dawkins Pass. And his actions to help Vietnam veterans was the turning point in how we defined our Vietnam veterans on our own terms. Pete Dawkins is defined in many ways. He is known as a Heisman winner, Rhodes Scholar, Ranger, General, White House Fellow, Businessman. But his classmates at the Academy summed him up simply by saying, we have stood in awe of this man.